Hey everybody, welcome back to US Art's official YouTube channel. My name is Garrett Hartle and I am coming to you here from Reach Out Reptile Studio to bring you guys some important updates on the Lacey Act amendments that are going through Congress right now. On the phone we have Phil Goss, president of US Art, to tell us what's going on. Phil, you want to take it away? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Garrett. So hopefully you saw we announced there was a House companion bill to Senate Bill 1614. That means there's the exact same version of that bill in the House that came from Representative Luna. And we knew that that representative was going to post that companion bill. But now we also know that there are co-sponsors to that bill. So in addition to Rep Representative Luna, there's three other Florida representatives, one from Alabama and one from Texas. So we have all that information laid out for you on the US ARC alert. You just have to go there, see if one of those people is your federal legislator. And then there's a link, you just click it. It has sample cities there. So you know about what district or region that's in. So just click that link, you can copy the email and just send it off. So it's super important. If one of those representatives is your legislator or everyone in Florida can contact Senator Rubio, you want to start contacting these people ASAP because we don't want more co-sponsors getting on the House bill. And we maybe want to tell some of those co-sponsors, hey, this is a bad idea and you shouldn't do it. But that takes a lot of people contacting them. So again, it only takes a minute. Just go to the US ARC alert, click on those links. If one of those legislators is yours, copy the copy and paste the email that we have there for you and send it off. And you can also copy some talking points if you don't wanna use the draft letter that we have. There will also be phone numbers for those legislators offices. You can call them. If you don't really wanna to talk to them, you can call them after hours and leave a message. Again, just call and say you're opposed to either H4922 or S1614 and say a talking point or two. And it can be that simple. And hopefully they will call you back. It may take a day or two or three. But the important part is just to leave that voicemail, say you're opposed, and let them know that you're their constituent and you do not want to see H4922 or S1614 proceed in the process. All right. Thank you very much, Phil. And uh, me being in Pennsylvania, I know that I plan to find my friends and family member that may live in these areas and send them my thoughts on these bills so that they, as the constituents for their rep representatives, can actually express how they how detrimental these amendments would be. Is that a good idea, Phil? Yeah, Garrett, that's a great point. So again, we only want one of these seven legislators being contacted by their constituents right now. So if you know someone, please give them a shoot them a message or post it on social media, whatever you want to and say, hey, make sure you contact these people. Not right now, but there will be a time when US ARC is going to ask everybody to start contacting their federal representatives. But that time is not right now. We only want to focus on these seven sponsors and co-sponsors of these two bills. And that's the only people that we want you emailing or calling or faxing letters to at this time. Uh, but follow us and we will let you know when we want everybody to start sending those letters. So make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel, click that notification bell so that we can keep you informed so you can fight for your rights as a pet keeper. And I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who does contact their legislators. That is so important. It takes a lot of people, you know, the boots on the ground so that those legislators want to talk to US ARC when I go to DC with our lobbyist and want to meet with them. Because if they haven't heard from you, they're not really going to want to talk to us. So you are the foot in the door. So that's why we need people doing these alerts. We don't just put those alerts out there and say, hey, read this if you want to. You know, it's important to follow the steps, send the emails, make the phone calls, whatever they're asking you to do. So a huge thank you. That is why US ARC is successful when we stop these bills and stop this bad legislation. It's because it starts with you contacting your legislators. So thank you, everyone who does that. Absolutely. And thank you, Phil, for keeping us informed. Guys, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when it's time to do your part. If you are within any of these areas, check out that US ARC alert and it's time to hit the road.